Alright, what's going on guys? This is Roastum here. Um, so, it's going to be a bonus uh, D-Zone vid this week because after playing Aphexius.wad and being blown away by it, I wanted to compare it to the other wads that I've played from D-Zone which I've highly regarded and that's Matrix.wad. And yeah, I want to give it another shot and I want to kind of basically find out in my mind which one do I really prefer because I had Matrix up there as the best one I'd played until Aphexius came along so yeah giving another spin and for fairness I'm loading up again with uh, Smooth Doom to see those cool alternate death animations but I've not got the custom midis on this time it's nice to hear Sean's got the shotgun every once in a while so yeah let's get going that is inaccessible. I can't remember a damn thing about this map. I think it was about like, uh, it's gotta be about four or five months since I've last played it. But I'm quickly, you know, realizing, or I'm quickly seeing um, why I liked it so much. It's very sound, like very architecturally sound. Everything's at a nice height, sector height's nice. Mixed up, mix, a nice mix of textures. Monster placement is also fine. So far, I mean, it's very early on. There's a ton of secrets. There's eight secrets in this map. Uh, monster count's pretty average, but yeah, tons of secrets to find. Even though I've played it once before, I'm <laughs> absolutely um, unsure if I'm going to even get half of them. What about that? that? Every time I see that, I think there's an arch fail nearby. Something open. I heard something open, though. I remember, I vaguely remember this area. Impy boys. Nice little tech-ish area with a, some tech archways. Love that. That's awesome. Right. It's also it's called Matrix Wad as well, and it predates the film, so that's that's saying something. That's pretty cool. What was this room all about? Oh, we got a secret. Barrels block off our um, our way to get up into that ledge. Um, I like this little pool here. It's pretty cool. Makes me feel all comfy. I don't want to leave now. Yeah, but we got it. Let's blow up those barrels. Right. What about this? That would suggest that it was secret-ish, but maybe it triggers through another uh, line death or something. Oh, not been in here yet. He's blocking a backpack for me. Let me just take this out in case I trigger anything else. Oh, nice. Oh, and it's a revenant. Okay. A bit tricky. They're narrow. Oh my god, they're getting. Oh man, they were getting closer and closer. That third one did, unfortunately, graze me a bit. Um, okay, so no key acquired after all that, but we can pick up that box of shells now. That's an awesome death to get there in G uh, Smooth Doom. Just falls to his knees and like clutches at his face. Ugh. I, s I love the spinny like <laughs> collapse of the zombie man as well. No alternative F on the chain gunner, but oh well, can't have everything. There we go, get ourselves some Mega Armor. Well, comparing this and Aphexius, the, the mapper, and I couldn't find who it was, I couldn't find much information at all about Matrix.wad, but um, the mapper's a little bit more liberal with ammo and health so far. This one's definitely a lot more forgiving than um, Aphexius was. Aphexius was a damn sight harder, and that was only with the Doom 1 beastry. Like, here we've got, like, everything from Doom 2 in here. Well, yeah, but he's been pretty, uh, pretty hesitant to throw all the big boys at you. We've only had one skeleton um, so far, and everything else has been your fodder, so. In fact, this map feels more like it should be in Doom 1 than Doom 2. Like, this this reminds me of Episode 1, for sure. It, it kind of feels like a Doom 1 map with the Doom 2 wads 
uh, loaded up with Doom 2 monsters. Okay, yeah, this is... I mean, if this isn't episode 1, I don't know what is. Alright. Lovely. Okay, there's the yellow key. Something opens. Yeah, but definitely very, very reminiscent of episode one. Can we get down onto the alcove? Yes, but it does nothing. But this opens. I mean, what more? <laughs> what more do you need? Um, what more do you need to be convinced that <laughs> we're looking at an episode one uh, homage? Um, not much else now. We've even got the outdoor area opening up. A la E1. Monster closet here. And oh, another revenant. I wouldn't mind an SSG, but I'm, to be honest, I haven't really needed it. Yeah, don't need that either. Yellow keys acquired, so yeah, so far one secret out of eight. Not looking fantastic in terms of secrets. Right, I guess that opens up. Oh no, that's the other. I don't know. Never mind. Um, Alright, yeah, the other side. Yeah, shotguns definitely felt like enough so far. Lots of rockets, but no long chat. Huh. Oh, it was a slime texture. I had a feeling it would have... Uh, been a secret, but no, not to be. <sighs> Ooh, oh, yeah, it's getting grim now. We go from E1 to E2. Nah, giving me refinery vibes, or <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Got that one texture, I guess. What does this do? Ooh, opens that. We've got a mancubus. Whoa, <laughs> whoa there. Yeah, everything feels very restrained in terms of the monsters that the mapper unleashes at you. All the mid-tier ones are treated very <laughs> treated very carefully. Like, here's one Mancubus. You've already had two Revenants. I think that's going to be enough challenge for one day, boy. I like, the li I like the use of lighting here, or lack of. That definitely adds to the Atmos. And we have got a spider demon to deal with as well, so things are about to get quite a bit harder. I do remember this area quite well, like overlooking the spider demon, and you can't quite get at it yet either. Right, that opens. T okay, we've been through there. All right, so where to next? Yeah, it is a very pretty map though. Like everything's nice and tidy. Good mixture of backdrops. So it's like Highly competent for a shovelware map that is on the D Zone disc as well. That was the one thing about Ephexius. Like, I couldn't find it on the compilation. Was it really a shovelware map? I kind of, I don't know. I need some convincing on that front. So, is it fair comparing this to Ephexius would be the next question. I'm not sure about that either. Alright. There we go. Okay. Oop. And he's teleported out of sight. The bastard. Yeah, just checking where we are right now in time. Yeah, we're getting along well. Over halfway done. Lots of bullets not even picked up yet. Yeah, map is a little um, generous on the ammo side. But it is a looker. Like, lovely areas here. Like, Got your symmetrical rooms, asymmetrical rooms. 
Like these nice, I don't know. What do you call these? These, these UAC tubes. All very aesthetically pleasing. Definitely more of a looker than Aphexius is, but so far, it, I mean, Aphexius has won me over more than this on the combat. Uh, oh, surprise Revenant. There we go. Yeah, nothing's really over challenging on this map so far. Oh, this, yep. Yeah. Um, okay, so nothing opens in here. Oh, that opens. Secret. Okay, we pain alien here. Very non threatening. He did launch off a. At least one lost soul at me, though. Rad area. Still no SSG yet. Again, haven't really needed it, but. We did get the rocket launcher, I suppose. Um, I think it would be prudent to get a save going. Did I, there was, did I save? Yes, I did. All right, nice. Oh, and that takes us back here. That's pretty cool. I like it when mappers pull that off quite um, with with, an, with with finesse like that. Like I didn't even know I was going back there. That's pretty awesome. But we don't really need to go back there, so we'll pick up from from here, I suppose, and yeah, go through this. And now we're up here. Sick. Press the skull switch. Opens Zat. Alright, got Kako and at least a Baron to deal with. Oh, alright. Business is picked up. Tons of rockets though, so should be all academic. Oh shit, I've lost track where the other Hell, Hell Knight is. I like the way the Hell Knight dies in Smooth Doom, it just... The gore is a little bit more accentuated. <laughs> Look at that, nice. I haven't seen that yet. Yeah, that Baron's super annoying, like how do you bring him down? Oh, there we go, probably that. That was a pretty stupid question. How does the Baron die in Smooth Doom? Kind of similar, pretty awesome still, nonetheless. I guess we'll pick that up now, hopefully not a waste. Perfect. Oh, there we go. Soul Sphere as well. That wasn't the hardest secret to find. We're, we're, we're three out of eight so far. Um, alright. So now it's probably good to be able to go through here and backtrack back to the the arch, the tech archway area. Yeah, down here. And I think I've maybe opened something up here as well. Nope. That was the wrong way. I think it was back here. Nope, nothing. Alright. Nothing. Um, Alright, so where's that damn red... Oh, the blue red key. Blue, yellow, red, orange, green. Blue, yellow key. What the hell? Pick one. Uh, the blue key door. What am I doing? Okay, there we go. I'm slow. Let's... Yeah. Okay. Well, I didn't hadn't pressed that before, but actually that was not. Um, oh, the SSG is sick. Okay, more than worth it. That was a pretty cool little secret. Shall we? Okay. Okay, we got a spectre to deal with. Get a chainsaw, which I mean isn't much use. I mean I've not got the berserk yet, but unless there's going to be a giant narrow room full of pink user specters. Don't see myself using it, to be honest. Um, I'm making a pig of this. Where am I going? Yeah, it should be this way. Oh, yeah, yeah. Feel, feel we're going to bump into the, the matriarch spider very soon. Oh, I remember this. Okay, probably wasn't the wisest idea to blow all those up yet. But yeah, I mean, I've got o oodles of space. Yeah, I mean, it's it's nearly defenseless when it's out in the open like that, and I've got all the cover. So yeah, Aphexius' death was definitely 
is definitely the more ruthless and punishing map. I mean, it's got three times the monster count, so that's going to also factor in, because map fatigue, which I was talking about when playing Aphexius, is a thing. Like, when you're 450 kills in, you start to feel it. You start to feel like, oh god, I just want to finish this. And and the map, even if the map is great, which Aphexius is, like, you still... It's very hard not to feel a bit of fatigue when you're doing a, a bigger map like that. This one, I feel, is kind of nearly done and dusted once this... Uh, Mama Spider b bites the dust. Look how many rockets we're getting. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about in terms of the ammo generosity. Blah. That's probably another secret right there. No? Alright, had me fooled. Start. Mowing them down. Our plasma. All right, yeah, may as well go right through. Here we are. All right, just go the length of the area, I guess. Ah, <laughs> sick. That imp was just in the way, I'm afraid. Oh god, I have a bad feeling about that. I've, yeah, that's the um, cyber, isn't it? Okay. Come on! There we are. Okay, and yeah, now it's a matter of where is that last red key? Is that the red key or is that just the corpse of yeah, it's just the corpse of the cyber demon. Alright. Um right. Aha, okay. Got a vial. Oh, that's a bit awkward as well. That's an awkward vial placement, if I ever did say. I say, I say. Fuck. Yeah, don't cock this up. Yeah, I didn't want him to go there. Oh, okay, it's alright. I guess in Smooth Doom, the Archfell just goes down a little quicker. Um, yeah, it's probably good to pick that up. What? Ah, uh, hang on, come again? Ah, okay. Okay, and... There isn't much else to do. Oh, here's... Another area, I guess. Ah, secreta. Oh, as if you didn't... I mean, it is a secret, to be fair, but look how... Look how spoilt you get by getting this one. I'll just, um... I don't know... Flex Megasphere. <laughs> Whopping... Oh, was that like 34 health? I can't remember how much health I had before. Oh, it takes us back to the start. Like, that's a bit of a... a bit of a... bit of a dick move. Oh, well. Um... Yeah, we didn't... We weren't too far, anyway. Uh, okay, cool. I think that's it then. Or if you can't go back here, it's not quite it. All right, we just have to get back where we get back up there. So it's just a matter of remembering how we got up there, which um, for me is difficult. Memory like a sieve and all that. Um, right, okay. Well, we'll go through here no matter what. Um, feel like being back at the start or no oh now it's the secret okay yes uh, being back at the start is probably good uh, we want to go back where that blue key door was I think we never went this way did we I don't think so oh we did we did yeah and that I think takes us where we need to go yes all right, well, we've got half the secrets. That was admirable. And yeah, um, there we go. I believe, 
unless we get a little nasty trap at the end that that is that so yes highly competent map um, the first time I played it I was impressed it is it is technically shovelware it is in the G zone G zone that'll be next if it exists D zone <laughs> it is in the D zone CD um, and it's a highly competent, well-made map. Um, bit on the easy side, so it's a kind of a chill one to play through. Um, yeah, it feels like... Well, feels Doom 1-ish, but with Doom 2 monsters in there. But it does feel like something you'd play, like, you know, just after getting Doom 2 done. Or Doom 1, and wanting a slightly bigger challenge. But I don't know, I personally... I personally would lean a bit more towards Aphexius, um... That one just swept me off my feet. It was just like, it was brutally hard in places. Um, very fun. Lots of sick moments. So for me, I enjoy it a tad more than this, but this is still a highly playable, a highly playable uh, map as well, guys. Matrix.wad, that is it as well done. Yeah, Matrix.wad, still one of the better maps in the D-Zone compilation. So there you go, guys. Um, yeah. Uh, it's been nice to see a couple of folk uh, watching my channel enjoy the D-Zone maps, uh, D-Zone playthroughs. So there's another one, guys, Matrix.wad. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's um, it's well-made, um, top-notch stuff. Um, again, near the top of the heap when it comes to D-Zone. Matrix.wad. All right, guys, so that's been me, Roastum. See you guys next time. Bye.